And welcome, this is an 18650 lithium ion cell which is found in all these types of lithium ion batteries. I've pulled this out of the centre of an old defunct pack to show you a reset method for one of these cells that you never ever should use. Um, it works, but it's dangerous. What happens sometimes with these cells, um, they overheat and there's a safety fail safe that's in here. It's like a gas release or something, I think. I think it's a gas release, it's due to temperature, and it pushes a connector away from another connector in here and renders this side dead. It's not uh, it's not connecting through the cell. That's a safety feature. To disable that is really, really irresponsible if you're going to use it in a pack because you could risk fiery death. But well, we're going to do it for entertainment and educational purposes here today. If I can get this going, this is going straight in the recycling bin, rest assured. First of all, we're checking the voltage just to show you the condition of this cell. There's no power there. That should read between 2.5 and 4, but it's reading nothing. So, to carry out this irresponsible thing you have to use cutters you flush cutters or similar to cut the little tabs to get access under this positive terminal generally cutting around uh, lithium ion cells is not really recommended so you get that pried up there and you can look on there in the centre there's like a little circular part and what you do is you can push that down little flat sort of screwdriver or something like that to reset the the disconnected part this doesn't always work but it should never be done as well there you are 2.18 so that that would now charge that cell's now rendered technically usable however i'm not going to use it because the risk of the danger of fire packs going fire your house going fire is too high um you're relying on that fail safe we're all relying on that fail safe to make sure one of these doesn't go on fire during the night or whatever. Um, so I cannot recommend doing that. Just once that fail safe fires and you reset it, it'll never fire again. So if that cell overheats, it will continue to overheat. The safety feature is now removed. But it's just a little bit of education for you. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for all my other videos.